So I've got the accessory belt uh, tensioner off a 2003 Ford Focus here. Uh, this one was uh, off my car. Uh, it was seized. So what I did, uh, as I mentioned in another video, took a 2x4 and jacked on it from the bottom of the car. Actually, a 2x4 has to go widthwise, and you angle it slightly so you miss this part, and then you can jack it and uh, relieve pressure on the belt and get it off the alternator, remove it from the alternator, and then you can take the belt right off. Anyway, uh, th so this one was seized up, and uh, then my latest uh, Ford Focus, uh, here's the tensioner off it, and uh, it was like locked. Like, basically, I had to jack the car with it before all of a sudden it just went bang, and then I was able to remove the alternator belt. So I decided since I got, so I bought two new ones and put them on the cars, but I was curious what was causing these things to seize up. So I decided to dissect this one and find out. So you have this like, looks like a nail head there on the shaft, so I cut that off with a zip disc. That's uh, this right here. And after a lot of prying and things, I finally got got it off the shaft. So here's uh, what this piece looks like. Now there's a pin on it right there that uh, I broke off. And the pin, you got this little plastic part here, and, and there's the, the pin in it there. So that's just like a plastic shield or something. So anyway, what's inside it there, you just have this steel shaft and uh, the spring. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with that spring. It's not rusted, it's not anything. But the problem is with the steel shaft. And uh, this part here, uh, the part that holds the roller, it's actually got a uh, plastic bushing in it. So it's not even... Uh, you know, metal on metal seizing. It's plastic against uh, the steel. So the steel swells up from rusting and uh, seizes the, the shaft so it doesn't want to rotate. So, to make a long story short here, um, what I'm going to do with this one, and I'm even thinking I'm doing it on the new ones, is to, i got an X marked here, somewhere in that area, I'm going to drill a small hole uh, I'd say uh, uh, just over 16th inch, uh, whatever the next size is, uh, uh, over that, in, in that range anyway. Uh, basically, I'll be drilling right in until it touches the steel. Then, I'm going to uh, put oil or penetrating oil or something in there to lubricate that shaft. Then, I'll pack the hole with grease. And then I guess it'll become a regular uh, maintenance item to add oil to it again uh, so that it doesn't seize up. I thought it was, the way they act, they fit so tight, I thought it was something with, uh, you know, this area here seizing up. But when you get it apart, you can see, you know, the, the spring sits in there. It, it doesn't come anywhere close to the side. And uh, all it is is the shaft. Like, it, it doesn't even want to go back on there yet. Like it's it's still so tight, so I'm I'm hoping that um, drilling a hole in it and uh, lubricating it, penetrating oil and things, I'll be able to free this one up. Then, uh, like my son suggested, he said uh, should like spray the whole inside of it with uh, Jigaloo or some type of uh, or uh, uh, fluid film or something like that, but. Just to uh, just to keep it lubricated, although it does appear that it's mainly the shaft that causes the problems. So that's just a suggestion to you with these um, tensioners here that uh, you might want to drill a lube hole in them uh, because, like this one, it's a replacement. It's not the original one on the car, and uh, the roller is perfectly fine. It was fine on both of them, so that doesn't seem to uh, be the the problem that wears. Um, and this, it seems to be kind of, not necessarily unique to focuses, but um, I've never had this problem on my Saturn. The the bearing got dry in it, but uh, as far as the arm seizing up, doesn't seem to be a, much of a problem on General Motors ones. But these little guys on the Focus, man, they, they seize. So, 
anyway just wanted to show you what uh, what this thing looked like inside there and uh, you know why why I believe it's seizing up just uh, corrosion on the on the main shaft there so if you can you might be able to save yourself 50 bucks by drilling a hole in there and putting it in a vise like I have here not dissecting it like this but putting it in a vise and lubricating it just working it back and forth about a million times until you free it up and then uh, it should probably work for you again so anyway uh, hope that's a help to somebody there on these uh, this type of uh, tensioner